it's the uh, morning after the night before. Ooh, what a party. Um, <laughs> I think the whole fleet turned around headed south and um, once we were through the worst of the gale, we've all just been trying to bank as much sleep as possible. Everyone is totally exhausted. I've been messaging a few of the other skippers this morning and everyone's the same. They've just been, oh, I've been sleeping as much as I can. Um, what a race though everything we expected it would be. I mean, it's challenging coming up to the north. Iceland is a lot further north than we go south in the Vendée Globe. Um, it's cold, you know, as we saw, the weather is fierce. Um, and so, you know, it ended up being a, a really challenging race in many, many aspects. Uh, 13, I'm happy with that. You know, I think I mapped out what success looked like for me at the beginning of the race. And it was kind of just managing myself and the boat a bit better, but also staying in touch with those other boats that are similar to mine, similar design, similar age. And I feel that I did that. I finished just behind Giancarlo. Um, you know, at times I was kind of up, right up with them at times ahead at the start. I did have a really good um, leg at the start. And I think the interesting thing is that I'm actually pretty good at sailing the boat fast in breeze uh, in a straight line where i struggle is light stuff and also just making the right decisions at transitions and sail changes and those sorts of things and those are the things that i know i need to work on good things that i learned during the race well all the time when the boat's going fast it's a new skill to just exist on board and it's not just existing it's not just eating sleeping you know, checking the bow, maintaining, all that sort of stuff. It's when you have a problem, and I had a problem uh, just, I don't know, about 36 hours before the finish, where my alternator wasn't charging the batteries. It was really worrying, actually, because the batteries got right down again. The alternator just wouldn't charge. So I spent about an hour uh, messaging with Joff, trying to fault find. And then the boat was still doing, you know, 20 knots. And the motion would be quite violent and um, and I had my head torch on and I was right in the engine bay underneath the engine tracing wires looking for fuses and all the time you're kind of just in a position where you're trying not to head butt the engine if the boat suddenly stops and managing to do that sort of work in those conditions is is another level from you know the, the last boat I had so all of this is a learning curve and I'm building experience um, I mean, in terms of the race and how it ended, um, I, was, I was gutted because I, I did feel like I was really starting to find my stride. And, you know, had we carried on for another 2,000 miles, then, you know, I, I think I could have climbed some more places in the fleet. But I think the race management uh, didn't really have any other option but to stop the race because of the way that things evolved. Um, the low pressure system we were in was a nasty one. Uh, I saw 43 knots, but I know that the boats behind me were actually in worse conditions than I was. They saw a lot more wind. The sea state was really big. Um, coming back today or last night, it died down a bit. I uh, was 35 knots for about eight hours yesterday, and, th and that was frisky enough, but you know, we were able to sail the boats in a fairly conservative manner. So reef down and with small sails and, and, uh, and that's a different proposition from racing through those conditions. Still got a long sail home. I'm just level with the top of Scotland at the moment. Um, but me and, you know, all the other skippers, I think are really kind of just taking it easy and certainly everyone last night was banking as much sleep as possible so we were all alarmed up to the hilt and kind of just gingerly progressing south um so lots of learnings lots and lots of learnings um but i'm super happy with my results it's definitely a step in the right direction and i'm still on the way up